Hey, what's up? I hope you have seen our previous videos about Yulva Note 11P, such as unboxing and first look, performance test, battery test and camera test. This is the last video about this smartphone. I want to tell you about advantages and disadvantages of mobile device after two weeks of using it. So should you buy Yulva Note 11P? Let's find out. You know, I cannot say that design is a feature of Yulva Note 11P, because the smartphone is made of quite cheap plastic. In general, it looks and feels like a budget phone. However, Yulva Note 11P has 3.5mm audio jack. I don't know, maybe some of you will find it useful. As for me, I have been using wireless earbuds for a long time, so I don't need 3.5mm audio jack. From other side, 3 card slot is really useful. You can insert dual SIM and a microSD memory card in the new Yulifon smartphone at the same time. It is a really good thing. On paper, Yulifon Note 11P has very good specifications, such as Helio P60 chipset, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. We will talk about 8GB of RAM a little later in this video, because it is just a marketing trick. However, I didn't find any problems in performance of Yulifon smartphone. The most apps run very well, and user interface is smooth. The benchmark results are key. For example, 159,000 points in Antutu. You can play most games on this phone, such as PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and even Genshin Impact. The Chinese manufacturer says that Yulifa Note 11P is the first Android 11 ultra-large screen smartphone, yet the new phone really runs on the latest Android 11 operating system. The user interface is fast and smooth. However, I didn't notice the new functions or big differences compared to Android 10 OS. Maybe you know? Write in the comments below. There are already many budget smartphones with 48 megapixels quad camera. It is not a big surprise for me. However, the photos and videos quality on Yulifa Note 11P is really good. You can take good pictures on the main camera as well as ultra-wide-angle camera. You can watch our video with camera test of the new Yulifa device by the link in description. You know, that's all I like in Yulifa Note 11P. Now I have to tell you about disadvantages of this mobile device. Yulifa Note 11P is a budget smartphone, but not ultra-budget. The price of this phone is about $180. However, it has a display with HD Plus resolution, 720 by 1600 pixels. I think that this is a shame for smartphone in 2021. You know, I bought the new Yulfa Note 11P only because of 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. I was surprised that budget phone has 8 gigs of RAM. However, after the performance test, I was very disappointed. The smartphone really has 8 gigs of RAM, but they have not effect on performance. Yulfa Note 11P has the same benchmark results as the smartphone with 4 gigs of RAM. Also, I didn't notice any difference in games. So I don't understand why is there 8 gigs of RAM if the performance is the same as smartphone with 4 gigs of RAM. As I already said in this video that I like the main and ultra-wide-angle cameras of Yulfa Note 11P, but bokeh camera looks like a fake. I couldn't take any good pictures in portrait mode. We have already made battery test of Yulifon smartphone, and the battery life is just a key. It is not great, but also not bad. However, the charging time is very long. The full battery charge took almost 3 hours. So after a full review of Yulifon Note 11P, I cannot recommend to buy it. For the same money, $180, you can buy a Redmi Note 10 with much better performance, Full HD AMOLED display, and bigger battery with fast charging support. You can even add $20 and buy a Redmi Note 10 5G on the Mancity 700 processor. So it is better to skip Yulfa Note 11P. I hope that the next smartphone will be better. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.